Oh. oh. Do you guys mind if we get intimate this episode? <laughs> Do you mind if we have just the girl? Is it okay? Would you hold it against us if we just talked a little between <laughs> just the two of us? Just the two. <laughs> this is the bald and the beautiful. I am Trixie Mattel. And I'm Katya. And we are two balds. Today we are absent beautifuls. We have no beautifuls no here. No beautifuls here. Um, they were here. Now they are not. It's just a couple of balds. Just a reminder, this is probably, I don't know how many weeks in, but if you haven't subscribed yet, we are here every single week. Because of COVID, we film them. We record them in my house. Yeah, we certainly do. And um, what's the tea, girl? Yeah, uh, well, we uh, yeah yeah. Huh? <laughs> Shall we talk about some of the trials and the tribulations? Yeah, listen. The beauty of uh, the, <laughs> I want to talk about the beauty of of simple everyday values. Sure. <laughs> this is um. I mean. I will say, if we're being vulnerable, oh, always we are. We I think I'm are. a very healthy person, spiritually, emotionally, but not physically. Yes, yeah, of course. Okay, okay look okay. at the material. <laughs> you have been looking very slim, trim, and fit. Thank you. Yeah, but I have had really no COVID fatigue until recently. Okay, and I have been feeling, I don't want to use the word depressed, a little, a little sometimes down, at night, like down in the dump, just like. <gasps> Like how long? Right, of course. How long is this gonna yeah, come yeah, yeah. Well, it's like Jackie Beat said on, on online the other day. She's like, "Listen, if you are feeling anxious, da 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 da, that's normal." Yes, I've had to keep telling myself like, "This is." I'm a very happy person. I'm never that sad, and I've been like, "Yeah, this is this is a good test of your human spirit." If you weren't feeling a little some something, you yeah, might have sent the wrong. You're you. probably doing a little some something wrong. Hello, hello. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> well, you know, it's, I mean, the, the, I mean I'm, I'm at a point where when I see people being unsafe, I take it, I normally wouldn't, I don't think I would care if it wouldn't make me feel like if we don't all do the most to get through this, we're going to be stuck in it longer. Mary, you know what I think immediately? I think about, take a look back at the last nine months. Nine months. Of not working, not going out. Of our lives and careers screeching to a halt, maintaining, I mean, pretty strict stay-at-home orders, and then we live in a world where for you, what for what for, so that you can go to Puerto Vallarta or to go to Mexico to a Puerto gay Vallarta, resort, which is located in West Virginia. <laughs> it, listen, it's two hours away. It's or, two hours away. It's, I don't understand it. I have. I know. I know. Non. You know, the drag race girls have done it. Certain notables. But they are they are they are dropping a bucket. Dropping a bucket, bitch. I know so many people. The only reason the drag race girls get the most tread yeah. is because they're select notable figures, yeah. But it, the ratio is one to a thousand it's, of the number of like your Caucasian gay neighbor who went. Do you know what I mean? I don't fucking get it. I mean, I am I'm legitimately at a loss. Like I understand every form of of, of bad behavior. Sometimes intimately. Yeah. <laughs> but if like anybody's understanding of self destruction. Self destruction and law breaking. <laughs> law breaking, <laughs> deteriorating health. Going against the going, grain and going against your best interest. Going against I the CDC <laughs> with some of your practices. Uh, flipping the bird in the face of mortality. I get it. I get it. This I don't get. I understand. Um, We're in a world where you and I have yet to even. Enter the soundstage and sit on a couch and talk. Like, we're still shooting we Netflix just, from home. We only now have been able to negotiate shooting in the same room, just the two of us. Just the two of us. With we can make it if we try. <laughs> but in the end, with stringent COVID uh, uh, regulations, of course, testing and yada yada yada, yeah. not putting anybody else at risk. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but so I just don't get. I don't get the. What is it over there that is so promising? A circuit party? Are you that basic? Are you that basic? Jesus. Can I just say something controversial? Have a secret brave? party here. Have a secret party here. Invite 12 of your gay fucking faggot friends and fuck each other in one room. Don't tell anybody about it. I don't I don't want to be homophobic. I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to be racist against the whites. Uh, I wish you would. Not possible. Yeah, I wish you would. <laughs> not possible. But- I used to work circuit parties. Okay. The type of men that go to circuit parties regularly. Uh-huh. It's not the cream of the crop intellectually. Yeah. It's not the cream of the crop yeah. emotionally. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm just saying that if you, I mean, I don't know, it's it's an isolated incident. We're talking about Puerto Vallarta like it's the only quarantine breaking that happens. People are going to each other's houses. Underground people, New Year's parties. Yes, underground New Year's mm-hmm. parties. It's just like this will never end. And it's disappointing to see, I guess, members of our team, the gay community. Uh, they ain't my team. <laughs> <laughs> but I, okay, so. One thing, and I, was, I do have a list of names. You do, yeah. I got, I got the party list. I got the email list. <laughs> I want the okay. The people who are getting tackled by police at the airport for being at the Capitol. Oh, I yeah. want that to happen to the gays coming I home from Puerto Vallarta. I know. Well, they, and I recently discovered that gays so over gays over COVID, gays uh, over COVID Instagram or whatever. Yes, yeah. and the circuit gays are issuing a reward for revealing that person's identity. The circuit gays want that person exposed because the circuit well, gays are saying that COVID over gays, gays over COVID. COVID. <laughs> I want to start the COVID, account COVID, COVID over gays. <laughs> and it's just us dressed as germs being like, oh, uh, why whatever. do they have to be so in your face about it? <laughs> <laughs> They're, they want, um, if you guys don't know, there's an account that just um, it's takes an ex- screenshots exposure. of people's Thanksgiving yeah. where yeah. it's just a bunch of people in a room. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love it. I bought my mom this house. She moved in January 1st. I wanted to go there and watch her move in. Mm-hmm. And I knew it was the definition of non-essential travel. Yeah. And I called her and said, I can't go. Mm-hmm. And I'm just saying, if we all made similar sacrifices, we could get through this faster. It's not even rocket science. It's actual science. It is, exactly. This is not right. Yeah. It's actual, uh, understandable, pretty um, uh, reasonable science. Also, in the age of technology, I mean. Which we know a lot about. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> Yeah. People don't know this. You have a bionic arm. I have a bionic arm and my leg is a computer. (laughs) Unfortunately, it's like a 1998 Windows. It's a a gateway PC. (laughs) It's an iMac from 98. (laughs) Um, It's a Palm Pilot. Um, No, but the, uh, and so a couple of things being naturally being an introvert, I'm more inclined um, not to be so affected socially, psychologically about it. Um, But then also, having access to so many forms of technology that you can um, be an instant visual proximity to loved ones and whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know you need to get your jerked off, right? People need to get a hand job. They want to fuck something. Mm-hmm. They want to kiss and rub up on something. Mm-hmm. Get a leg. Look what I did. I order Amazon legs. You want to make more money? Get a leg. <laughs> like, <laughs> get a leg. I got, I, I'm not joking. When I put the legs, the feet, the feet underneath the couch, it's with, a with the toes sticking out. Toes sticking out. Sometimes I, I uh, prop them up. Sometimes I prop them down. It, it's a different vibe. Uh-huh. But each vibe is less lonely. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, and guess what? Guess what you don't get very much in quarantine? Scared. That's a valuable experience. I put the heads out in yeah. different places and forget. <gasps> Scared. Oh, oh my God, people are here. People are here. Yeah. People are here. No, they're not. They're not. You trick yourself. You trick yourself. <laughs> I will say I've been in your studio and I've turned the corner and seen, yeah. uh, let's go with a men's bust with a wig on. And I've gone, <gasps> with the, sh- the shoulders really sell it. And it had a wig on. It had yeah. a, a male full head of hair. So I knew it wasn't us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I said, are you the beautiful that I've heard so much about? <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello. I got a whole family. Three more just came the other day. Um, and it's, uh, I was thinking, America's neck top model. <laughs> um, do a little spoof. Do a little spoof. Why not? Yeah. America's neck top model. Let's see what the audience thinks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that video? The audience video? There's a server and the people at the table are complaining that the food wasn't good, but they've eaten all the food and they're streaming it. Like, look at the server. not And the server just goes, I mean, let's see what the audience thinks and holds the empty plate up to the Instagram live. Incredible. It's, it's really fierce. Incredible. So back to, okay, so back to public shaming of um, certain um, notable well, figures of COVID. What it's it, not <clears throat> that what they've done. They're not out killing people. Well, see, but they are not um, taking a knife and murdering. No. No, no, no. However, there is, a, there's a, it seems to be a very um, common uh, misconception about the seriousness of that behavior in that, well, I don't care if I get it is one sentiment. Yes. Because I'm young, I'm whatever. And I want to acknowledge that gay people are often made to feel like their lives and their bodies don't have a lot of value. I want to say that maybe some of these people do have some baggage that they don't think that their impact on others or their impact on their own health is important enough to consider. And I know that this is like kind of an isolated incident, but this is more of a general thing in general. Like, 
we could have been through this. Look at Australia yeah. or New Zealand. Look at China. Yeah. yeah. We're only here. Like, I mean, you and I have been, let's be honest, in some ways, largely affected. Our tours have been moved. In some ways. Our tours it, have been, we should have been touring all year this year. Our lives, I'm not complaining. I'm just, because I'm very fortunate to have other revenue streams. Well, but, that's what I mean. Yeah. We are lucky to do this. We can do, uh, was built to be green screen. We right, can right. we can cheat it. But st- still, that has not been with hassle-free. No, we. I mean, we're miking ourselves. Miking ourselves. And I'm sorry, this is, again, this is like, I'm not to like complain. I can't mic myself. She can't. I, I Have you noticed in the new episodes? Ridiculous. She's being dubbed. <laughs> it's Millie Bobby Brown. I, look, when I, tr- listen, it is a comedy of errors when I try to mic myself. But no, our lives are hugely affected. All performers were. And, you know. The, <sighs> and I want I, I want to I, I acknowledge that, of course, we are employed. We can pay our bills, which yes. I know is more than a lot of people can. Absolutely. I mean, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just so hard to not lash out when you see these very public displays of who cares yeah it, i don't have a responsibility to anyone around me what about the people the, the people who are like it, it also i just think about the time the months past the months and months and months and months of like staying at home not going out people going stir crazy people not being able to work and then all of a sudden when you decide that you're over it yeah it's all for nothing because it could negate all of that you I know mean, these are people who are take prep every day but God forbid, God forbid, we'll still get to the country where I mean, Mexico is not doing better than us. They have equally overflowed, overflown, overfloated, overfloated, mama, overfloated yeah. hospitals. Yeah, it's not Atlantis. You're, it's not like some magical place. Yes, it's and also, girl, who the fuck cares for a circuit party? For a circuit We're party acting like they're going Mexico. to the Olympics. We're acting like they're going to see a presidential inauguration or the death of a loved one. Mary, it's a speaker. Yeah. It's a speaker with a fanny pack. With shit ass music and the same motherfucking kind of stupid, boring muscle person to stick your weenie in. A person that lives at home. This is where, oh, oh, nothing happened. <laughs> I almost dropped the board. Okay. This is where people from, I mean, it's like, I love, I, I don't, I don't love the, the um, what is it called? Uh, uh, not Palm Springs. They go to the island. Uh, uh, Fire Island. Fire Island. Yeah. They go to the Fire Island. Mm. These are people who live in the same zip code as one another going to a new zip code to fuck. No. Mary, you live in the same block. Shit. And you no, can, of, yeah, no offense to the lovely people of Mexico, but, but y'all ain't that special. And also, you're two hours away. There's nothing in Mexico that is like, in this Mexican resort town that is so incredible, so outlandish, so exotic. I mean, I'm trying to think if... Not to mention, you could be bringing diseases to these communities. No shit. Probably are. You're traveling there. Yeah. We've all been tested. I mean... And what are you going there for? Probably to get dozens of loads up your nasty ass. Which is not, like, in itself, I'm not, that's not the value judgment. It's just the, it's just the social distancing or lack thereof that I'm talking about. I don't want to say I'm bashing circuit parties because I've, I've worked them in my life. I've worked them. Yeah. I've never gone to one for fun. And mm-hmm. maybe it's, maybe I'm being like an ugly goblin goon goblin. Who, Cause maybe the hot gays who go to the circuit parties would look at me and go, of course you'd have a terrible time because your body, look at there's you. no yeah. currency. You right. have no value and no one's going to look at you. But if that is not worth doing this for. I would say that the gays having 10 people over for Thanksgiving is a smaller crime than travel to a party. Yeah. I mean, that because that's the ma- same that way. Like anytime one of us gets Postmates, it's sort of a crime. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of small ways to break quarantine that we're all guilty of. Mm-hmm. Maybe I've gone and gotten the mail without my mask on or like, mm-hmm. you know. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. When, when I jog, sometimes I take the mask off if right. I don't see anyone around. Right. Um, I guess I just don't know how to reconcile with like this level of irresponsibility and also this level of pushback. Like, so what? The, fl- the, the that's, that's what's fascinating to me. The, um, e- either the denial, the uh, deflection or the gaslighting. What about some of these people being nurses and doctors? Oh, Mary. Well, it's, you know, it's funny. Months ago, I read an article about, um, it, what was going on in Moscow and doctors, there was this bar, crowded bar that was open and there were doctors in there and they were like, listen, sorry. Life can't just come screeching to a halt. They're Actually, just it denying can. it. It's called dying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's insane. I mean, I got a really, I cut myself in the kitchen the other day. Um, and it was, just to feel. <laughs> just to feel something. 
No, I, I was cut with myself, Eureka. I cut she, myself off. I was talking and they just talked. Over I was with Eureka and she said, you know, people make fun of my weight and sometimes I cut myself a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, for a second, I was like, you really had me for a second, yeah. Miss Girl. You really had me for a second, Miss Wow. Well, the thing is, like, I mean, you know, I cut myself. It was bleeding a lot. And I it did that thing. I was like, oh, God, is this a stitches thing? And then I was like, well, I, regardless of it, I'm not going to the hospital. Not in L.A. Hi. No. No, we're going to take a break. Yes, we're going to take a break. And we're back. So when you use the bathroom, do you always close the door behind you? Yeah, you do, right? You don't want random people looking in on you, so why would you let people look in on you when you go online? Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom with the door wide open, which is not something I even do at home and I live alone. Did you know that your internet service provider like Comcast or Verizon knows every single website you visit? You. You know the one. I know which one, yes. And what's worse is they can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who use data to target you, okay? ExpressVPN puts a stop to this. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone. I use ExpressVPN, I use ExpressVPN on my bike. I use ExpressVPN on all my devices. It works on everything, phones, laptops, routers. So everyone who even shares your Wi-Fi is still protected, even if they don't have ExpressVPN. And the best part is ExpressVPN is as easy as closing the bathroom door. You just have to fire up the app, click a button, and you're protected. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN by CNET, Wired, The Verge, and countless other sources. So if you're like me and you like to keep your online activity, shh your business. Secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash bald today. Use my exclusive link expressvpn.com slash bald and you can get an extra three months free. That's expressvpn.com slash bald. Hi, it's me Trixie Mattel and I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this episode, Usual Wines. Usual Wines are for the modern drinker. Each bottle is 6.3 ounces, a heavy pour, and about a glass and a half of wine. So when mine came, it was so adorable because they look like little, like almost like science beakers. And I put them, I like to refrigerate my wine. That's just me. And I put them all in the fridge and I have a teeny tiny fridge. So these 6.3 ounce, just tiny little bottles are perfect for me. My fridge is so little, I can barely fit a full bottle of wine in there sometimes. So these little single serving formats are perfect because the wine's always fresh, no more flat bubbly, no more stale rosé. And the wines have low carb and zero grams of sugar. And I don't know about you guys, but it's basically summer already. So I'm already thinking about it, honey. Thinking about my appearing at the pool completely nude. Usual has a red blend, a rosé, and a sparkling white wine called Brut. And we also have Usual Spritz, which is a lower alcohol, um, 8.5 ABV, which is... Um, like a higher, higher ABV beer. Like it's just a softer wine. It's a low calorie wine spritzer that's made of sparkling wine and guava juice, like, um, like a white cloth for grownups, basically. And each serving has only 83 calories. I am absolutely here for that. Cause I don't know about you guys, my like at home wine strategy is always like, give me something with a lower ABV so I can have two glasses and not be like fully, fully turned. Okay. So go check out the website at www.usualwines.com and use my discount code BEAUTIFUL for $8 off your first order and try your first class on us. We are back. Anyway, I guess what are some, uh, let's try to throw out some strategies for people. Instead of flying to Mexico, instead of having Thanksgiving, instead of visiting your mom. Well, okay. So, okay, let's let's break it down. So we got the feet. Family, family and friends are two different social um, n- networks that... You know, a lot of times people really miss their family. Um, people really miss their friends. Sometimes people don't give a fuck about their family. But if, if, if friends are, I would say, more important. You know what I mean? If, yeah. If, uh, you know, For as, gay people especially. as important, if not more important. Um, we got FaceTime. We, we got, got FaceTime. We got Skype. We got we Zoom. We need to bring back cyber. Yeah. ASL. Camper yeah. Cam. Yeah. Let me tell you this. The sex thing, mama, I got zero patience. I got zero for patience for it. No, for, for sex parties, being promiscuous, all that stuff, that kind of thing, that kind of, that level of social distancing, you need to fucking get acquainted 
with the fine art of bringing yourself to orgasm. To bring yourself to climax. Yes, because guess what? There are so many ways. There are so many avenues. And there are so many outcomes, all of which are fantastic. I, I'll get in the hot tub. And I will. I will. I will yeah, electrical you will tape. Know me, I will you will know me alone tape. yourself. <laughs> yes, I will electrical tape my clit to that massager. And it's over. Listen, I, and I'm not. This I masturbate say this. for America. Do for it for the health. world. Do it for Dr. Fauci. <laughs> and honestly, if you are gonna, uh, this is kind of okay. In season seven of True Blood, when there's the infected vampires with Hep V, oh yeah, yeah, and they're like every healthy human and yeah. healthy vampire pair up. pair up. You walk home for safety and mm. then feed the vampire. Yeah, you need to get a trusted neighbor. Who it's like, let's both splurge on a COVID test. Let's yeah. go to the uh, Dodger Stadium or whatever. Yeah. And then we can just get it on with each other yeah. and promise to COVID, fuck, COVID fuck. Fuck pod. It's a fuck, fuck pod. Fuck pod. Yeah. Fuck pod. And absolutely. And then that's doable. Like you and I, um, you and I work together enough that like it's, you know, if one of us, I mean, we have enough, um, we have little social interaction that is all very traceable. Like, so if one of us were, um, came out with COVID, the contact tracing process could be very easily implemented. Quarantine could be enacted. It's not going to be a giant event or, or, you know what I mean? It's, it, the, the impact would be, could be low. I just don't get it. I don't, I still, I don't get it. And I've talked to people. I've actually talked to people who have gone to these, to, to PV and like, and I'm like, I, I've heard about the parties. Uh, PV Herman. <laughs> HPV. It's like, yeah. why? Why? And I can't get a good answer. I was like, I would go down there. I would consider, break, you know, stealthily going down there if Simone Biles was doing the Olympics yeah. and was going to murder President Trump yeah, live. She, yes. I mean, you know what I mean? Like that's if Gabby like, Douglas yeah. was going to crush President Trump's head like a grape using On the her balance thighs. Baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. I will risk my life. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's just been so embarrassing because it's one of those things where, wow, we are truly what the world thinks we are. We are the most selfish. Supermodels? Oh, yep. <laughs> the most selfish. Mm. Like, my actions don't affect the many. We all yeah. fear socialism. But, like, a touch of caring about other people right now? Oh, my God. It's wild. I mean, the... the my boyfriend has been in Palm Springs for two months. I miss him, of course. But I'm like, if you don't have work to do in L.A. right now, it's safer for you to not be here. Yeah. It's just safer to get out. I mean, you gotta just, like... It's a, it's a hard, also, it's a hard time for everybody. Nobody's having like the, this no, nobody's living on easy street right now. Yeah. You know, well, <sighs> people who don't know how to adapt during this time are having it worse. Yeah. Get in touch with the fact that you probably are going to have to talk on the phone and FaceTime more than you think. Yeah. Learn, get a Harvey. Harvey fully loaded. <laughs> But these are people who, these are, although I suspect perhaps wrongly that these are the type of people who don't have or want hobbies. Herbies. Herbies. Their hobbies is drugs and sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, I want to pop a pill. I want to dance to the most ridiculously crap music. And then I want to take my shirt off. I just want to ask like, and I don't want to hate on hot people because I am hot in many circles. <laughs> You know, many circles. Which circles are these? Soapy circles. Soapy circles. Slow soapy circles <laughs> on my breast. <laughs> I'm very hot in many circles. And, you know, in some cultures, even, you know, very hot in some yeah. cultures. Yeah, extremely hot. This is like Cultured sour chain. cream. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say yogurt cultures. cultures yes. <laughs> yeah. Active yeah. cultures. Yeah. You know, when they do a swab and they do a culture <laughs> to see if there's an infection, that's me. That's Wait, my quick, culture. quick, quick. Did you get the nose nodes, the way, the way up there? Fair, the, yes. Um, uh, it happened right there. I This stool that you see before you, $5 from Goodwill, right? Yeah. I put it over there. The man came in. I said, hello. I sat down. <laughs> He put it up my nose and it was the deep swab, right? That's what I'm talking about. The, the deep, 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 deep swab. Yeah. Deep blue And sea. he said, this is the deep one. So, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Born in the game. At this point, my nose is just a hole, sir. <laughs> just a hole. A cum dump. What did it? <laughs> he put it so far up there that he braced my back of my head on my hand. And I, I, my instinct was to fight it. And he went, nope. And pushed my head down on it. And it, it, wa it was, it was I, I, so bad. The and I thought, brace, I don't know if I can get this again. The brace, th that just made my skin, it shook me to the core. There was a drag race queen who said that she was getting nose raped. And she had to apologize. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. She said that the COVID test was a nose rape and people were like, this is over the line. That's all I'm going to say. I, I would say nasally assaulted. <laughs> yeah. You know, say that. 
Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, listen, and I, I think that the, um, what's your strategy, we bet? What's your strategy, Ben, to maintain such poise? Such, ele- well, see, the thing about poise, elegance, and calm is just woven into my nature. Right. So it doesn't really involve anything strategic. It's more of an un- a natural unfurling of my genetic qualities. There is no situation that catches your beauty truly off guard. No, because when you have the kind of beauty that runs so deep and it is so multifaceted. And you've no weathered what, so much. Well, weathered, I'd say. The weathered great, great. girl. <laughs> the weathered girl. <laughs> She's the weathered girl. Listen, I always have a, a, a um, I'm always navigating a maelstrom of, of self-induced trauma. So no matter what happens outside, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's been a weird time on this pod because we're so many weeks in and I don't think we've really once truly mentioned that we're doing this in the middle of, you know, when we signed up to do this podcast, we thought we would be glamorously into the flooding studio. into a studio. Rolling into the studio. I thought I would lay down my coach bag yeah, that I, I don't have. Exactly. I was like, I'm going to bring a purse. Don't don't yeah. ever carry one, but I'll bring one. And I would go, we've got 40 minutes to get it and I'm out of here. <laughs> but instead, yeah. it's been us meeting up at my house to plug in all these cords and talk to my computer. Yeah. And it's fine. It's lovely. It's unfortunate. I wanted the, I, I had in my head, uh, and I especially I had it all mapped out for some reason, the, the, um, the the guy behind the board, you know, with a beard always. I thought a straight guy. I thought yep. somebody that yep. we could come in and drag once in a while yep. and make. Uh, Give him a little chub. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to chub him up a little bit once a month. Yeah, let him finish <laughs> a little leg. Put on the, yeah. I put on, I put on yeah. you know, my, my hot book. I have to take off these headphones. I'm so hot. Breasts out, you know, stuff like that. I put on my sexy look. Yeah, yeah. The patent leather orange brunch boot. <laughs> With my the yellow fishnet tunic. <laughs> yeah, and a mushroom cut and a mushroom cut and <sighs> earrings that say that bitch. Oh, <laughs> and I might say trust no bitch. <laughs> yeah, sorry, fat bitch. That's what my earrings say. <laughs> fat bitch. Um, Fuck. have you explored any different body types during COVID? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I told you I got the legs, I got the the feet. No, no, I got no. The- <laughs> I've been pretty, I've been pretty. I, this has been a really exciting time for people to just, to, to, to let, let out a few inches emotionally this. and physically. I love this. I love this. And I like, I'm a person who doesn't have, I don't worry. Th- great. You know, I'm grateful. I don't, I've never worried about my weight ever. Um, it's never really been an issue. Many other things are it's issues. It's been an issue for us. <laughs> yeah. But I. Let's just say you got bigger fish to fry. Yeah. I, thank you. That's exactly what the I'm doctor, trying to say. You yeah. don't go to the doctor and they give you physical. They don't spend too much time on the number on the scale. Yeah. Yeah. We're not really concerned about jump the scale. Ahead. We're about the fumes that are emanating from <laughs> your sizzling corpse. So your skin is gray. <laughs> yeah. Did we want to touch on that? Yeah. So the weight not concerned about, the no pulse is an issue. Yeah. yeah. The um, way that an entire layer of skin just fell off your lip. <laughs> Are you drinking water at all? <laughs> so the one thing that um, I like, uh, I like he- hearing about people's journeys with like, cause I'm fascinated. I've never been like a, Oh, I'm bored. So I'll eat. That's never been me. I'm bored. So I'll cook and cook and cook and eat and eat. I've got friends who this guy, um, he's gained uh, 50 pounds, five 50. zero of muscle. And like, Interesting. I, I mean, not all muscle, but he's been, he's, Become this very bulky, bulky, What's bulky his guy. <laughs> Sexy. He's turned sizzling, in. hot. And I don't like skinny people. My preference is not is not skinny minis. Oh yeah, um, I'd rather have uh, extra pounds absolutely. than very thin. Always a little extra rather than not enough. Yeah, you know, no, no, yeah. And I feel for um, especially men because I think in women's beauty standards, skinny is always better. And in gay men, well, skinny world, is always ideal. Yes, or, or I mean, um, but wait, that's another thing though. How can that change? How, girl, I mean, I'm it's just going to... It's, it's got to. It's, it's fashion. Now, when but, we address this, we're addressing the like fascist regime of women's standards being pressured on them. We're not attacking women. No, no, no. no. But, like, but fashion. When I mean, women go to the gym and they use the cardio and never touch a weight because mm-hmm. they're afraid, what if a man sees me being strong? Bo- yeah, we need bulky. to reprogram. Yeah. Like, the perf- like, we've talked about this. To me, like, the perfect body is like a... When I think of like Gal Gadot or Jennifer Lawrence or like these characters in these films that just look like beautiful, but like athletic. Like they could run around the corner, pick something up and throw it. Yes, they these women to. can yeah. run and eat meals and like. They're also, I mean, those two, particularly those two women you mentioned are also impossibly gorgeous. But gorgeous. The, um, I just, I'm curious about how. Gal, like, it's lighting. Huh? Gal's lighting. Yeah. It's all lighting. Just all lighting. I saw her in overhead fluorescent. Dog. John Malkovich. <laughs> John Malkovich. Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Jeffrey Lawrence, Jeffrey Tambor. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I was just like, this is obviously not a question to ask and answer in under five minutes. But like, I was just wondering about that the other day. It's like, how the fuck can the, because it really originates, I feel like, in his you know what? The fashion world. You and I have a lot of influence and I think it starts here. All right. I'm going to gain a hundred pounds. Women of the world who listen to this, eat the food you want. But then, but, but, but here's the thing though, individually, there's not, it's, it's, it's a, it's a collective problem that needs to be like, it needs to be, um, attacked from in the, the locus of that, it, which is, I feel like the fashion world yeah. industry. Yeah. Un- I mean, stick bodies we've walking seen down the runway, big cha- stick yes. bodies. And that's it. I mean, of course, when we see people like Lizzo getting to enjoy custom red carpet fashions from sure. these designers, it always moves the needle. I just want to see more. I want to see more. more. And also, yeah, and, I, and I'm, I'm tired of the excuse, like, especially, and this trickles down into Drag Race quite a bit, especially recently in the last five years or so. It's like the, oh, well, that kind of, this person simply having a body that's skinny, being praised for being couture just because of the body type. Well, do you know what I mean? Yes, I mean I don't know when this episode comes out, but I have had the privilege of seeing a lot of this season ahead of time because of the pit stop on the RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel. Mm. And there are some queens where they're like, "I don't sew. I don't know what I'm going to do." And it's like, "Well, you're 70 pounds, so when you strap that little fabric around yourself and you walk, they'll say it's fashion. But if somebody a size 18 did it, size 20, you're sloppy. They'd be like, "You really just put fabric on. This looks yeah. awful." Right. And it's something that's not addressed um, because. It's such a big thing. How would you begin to address it in a critique on a TV show? You know what I mean? I think I, I think it well. It needs to fucking start being addressed. You know, and I and also the uh, there are a lot of there's a lot of gradations and um, uh, levels from Gigi Good or Naomi Smalls, and I'm not singling them out it being villains or whatever, but I'm saying that skinny skinny body type and the big girl. There's a lot in between. There's, uh, uh, there's yes. a lot in between. Yes, but there's you're either the you're either couture or you're like the big girl. It's yeah, time think for of a big like girl a Tina Burner. She's not a big girl. She's no. not twenty pounds. No, and that's not even a body type that's like mentioned. Right. It's it, but that's what like probably most people look like. Yeah, it's somewhere and, in that middle. Yeah, and it, and I think with drag race, when the aesthetic ideal skews more often than not towards haute couture, which Mary, I never in drag. I never knew drag to be couture. I mean, I know it is now, but like, I only did because every time I put something on, <laughs> they're like, "Did John Galliano make that for you, like, baby?" Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Those runway show this evening. <laughs> I don't. And know. I'm just in my room in a clown wig and an Amazon swimsuit. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to give everyone boners on this night. Oh my god! Did, did you break your pants? The inseam. Bro- <laughs> <laughs> I just. Long story short, I want to harbor. I, we need to stop focusing on um, women, uh, girls, and drag queens' weight, and start focusing on their dicks. <laughs> yes, and also, I hope that in COVID, with people exploring various amounts of fitness mm. or letting themselves be this new body type, yeah, I hope we all come out of it a little more enlightened. I, I hope, hope all so. this time at home has made people be like, yeah, well, I'm gonna let myself be that. Hungry, hungry hippo for two months. Yeah. Or how about this? I'm going to enjoy and nourish my body in the way that it, this particular moment calls for. And then when I emerge, I emerge. Period. I, yes. It's 3 a.m. I want to eat four bowls of cereal. It's not if a fair, I, yeah. If I went to an office tomorrow, I might not, but I don't have to, so I'm going to. And I hope that, that people are able to use this time to swing that pendulum yeah. and kind of land somewhere where they feel really healthy. Yeah. And also not to have to like numbers it's not a triumph or a failure i mean yeah God, I yeah know. i mean i gained uh in the beginning of covid probably 10 pounds did you yeah probably 10 or 15 even okay and now i'm back down to thinner than when i started but honestly it's only because i've had so much free time and downtime to like to run and stuff yeah and just think about like i've just been trying to use this time to reprogram what's my um I guess, how do I say this? What's my relationship with food and what's my relationship with exercising and what reasons with each produce the most natural results for me? Gotcha. Eating okay. if I'm hungry, exercising because I want to. Right. Not exercising because there's a gun and there's a, a skinny costume I'm trying yeah, to fit. Right, it's, totally. And it's been a lot more successful for me, but I know that that's not for everyone. No, and I, but I, the, sim- the simple, way I was always taught this is that um, food is your friend. You eat to live, and then also you um, that there's no point in exercising 
um, unless it's an enjoy, it's, it has to be an enjoyable activity or else it's just a, a level of self punishment. Yes, totally. You know, and there's so many, I mean, whatever, I don't want to talk about exercise, but there's so many different ways you can. But exercise fun. isn't what, physical when activity. It, when you think of it more about what you feel afterward and less about what you look like afterward. It becomes more about meditation and self care. Oh, you can't, you than can't aesthetics. do the aesthetic. The aesthetic is a byproduct, and you gotta get. You have to let go of that. If, of course, it's going to be in your mind. Yeah. But if that's the primary goal. Good luck to you. I mean, did you start doing when you were doing good yoga all the time? You. Never. No, no, no. It never occurred to you that it would have bodily changes. No, absolutely not. But I was all. I've always been more interested in what I can do than what I will look like. We've been interested in to see what you could do as well. We've been waiting. Listen, listen. But like, We've because, and also with yoga though, I'm, I'll show you a, the body, a still photo of the body of a person who can do a one-armed press piked handstand down and up, down and up, down and up. Nobody can do this in, in yeah. human beings. It looks like Bob regular. It's like big people. Bob big regular. people are extremely strong. It, it, there is no exact correlation. And, and let, let me tell you something else. These bodybuilder types, they can't raise their arms. No. They can't bend in half. And they can't, a lot of times, can't do me, like intermediate everyday like activities. Yeah. All right. The time has come to talk about Paris Hilton. The latest season of Wondery's Even the Rich profiles the one and only Paris Hilton. The unconventional heiress who built an American dynasty that now eclipses even her family's fortune. Listen, I am a simple gay. I love Paris, okay? From a young age, Paris knew she was different. Whether her family approved or not, she was going to do whatever it took to carve out her own space in pop culture. Blonde, beautiful, and eager to carve out her own space in pop culture? <laughs> Sounds like somebody I know. And when a sex tape exposed her in a vulnerable moment, she used it to catapult herself into the cultural zeitgeist. From pioneering reality TV shows to her endless brand deals to her now lucrative second career as a world-renowned DJ, Paris is basically the first person you think of when you hear the name Hilton. But as we know, fame is not always what it's cracked up to be. Honestly, Paris is one of those people that is a lot more complex than you think, and there's so much there than what she, I think, was originally portrayed as. I mean, I love her on Simple Life. I love, like, the, you know, early 2000s Paris, but... Paris is like at her heart a businesswoman who wanted to shape the world a little bit. And I think she really did that. Listen to the latest season of Even the Rich, Paris Hilton on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or listen ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. Wondery, feel the story. I've been doing this like running plan and then one of my like trainers that they say in the ear, it's like so cheesy, but I've started to drink the Kool-Aid so fiercely. <laughs> She'll be like, when you're running, remember, your smile is your wings. So let's fly. <laughs> and I'm out there running and smiling <laughs> like a crazy person. But you know what else they've said in the ears that I take to heart? What? Moving like this is a privilege. Anytime Absolutely. you can move your body, Ab it's well, a privilege and it's going to be something you can't do forever. Ever sprained your ankle? Ever broken a bone? Ever, you know, like lost a limb? Yes. I've often, I've often thought that when I was in like the bliss of a, like a yoga flow class, like you, you get like, Bleh. it's a like, privilege. It, it is ecstatic. It is a religious experience. And you're like, I can't believe I'm a lot, like I'm allowed to do this. It's and fantastic. I'm self-employed. Many yeah. of us are some version of self-employed right now. You're at mm -hmm. least at home doing responsibilities yeah. or Eden's here. Hi, Eden. Hello, Eden. Eden, one of the top bitches at Trixie Cosmetics is here. Yes. Recently tested negative for COVID. Tested positive for being a bitch. <laughs> Our cool bitch. <laughs> In her office, she has a pink sign that says, what does it say? Girl boss. Girl, not the girl boss. <laughs> it's the girl boss for me. It's the girl boss for me, <laughs> sis. What else did they say? They say all kinds of crazy shit. Smile as the wings that is deranged. Smi yeah, it smiles your wings. So let's fly, baby. I love that. Yes. Um, moving is a privilege. Moving yeah. like this is a privilege. Yeah. Also, if you're self-employed in any way, um, going for a walk, going for a jog, swimming, whatever. Yeah. It's one of the only times in the day you do something for yourself with no one else mm -hmm. for no one other than yourself. The benefits don't have dividends in other areas. Oh, mama, it's is, just for you. My whole life is like that. <laughs> You're like, let me hold it right here. Hold I only do something. from, from my <laughs> But well, Did we talk about beauty? And ultimately, it's all about getting hot. So when you do go to PV, yeah, you can you get plugged, plug, honey. <laughs> 
fucking opened up. Gash exploded. <laughs> you need to park that COVID truck right into this nasty garage. I want that fucking thing. I want my hole to fall out like a yeah. squid on the sidewalk. Yeah, you want to you want to switch on unsolved mysteries and see your gash laid bare. I want to be walking naked, and I want my asshole to hit the floor, and someone go, "Did you just drop sixteen pounds of raw meat?" <laughs> and I go, "Oh, oh, that was mine. Oh, PV." <laughs> Did an CMPB Indiana Jones baby. trap door just open up? <laughs> oh no, that was my a hole, my gaping hole. <laughs> right. I guess what the 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 point of this episode is to remind everybody mm. that this is all temporary. But guess what? Everything is. Everything, Everything is temporary. temporary. But that shouldn't. That could be what the PV gays are saying. Yeah. So well, what? We're well, all going to well, die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but is there, but, but also, if you do make a mistake. A big a mistake like this. Um, don't double down. Don't double down. Don't deflect. Um, there, there is value. And listen, I, you don't have to take advice from me. Certainly, I'm not fucking the Dalai Lama, but or I yeah. am not the Dalai Lama. She's a llama. I'm fucking the Dalai Lama, but um, you, uh, it doesn't really help to deflect, deny, or to um, gaslight. You can say you're sorry, or you know, or just say nothing. Yeah. But listen. Don't take it. Don't, so I don't, guess what I'm really saying is Michelle Visage, when it's when you're ready to apologize for going to Puerto Vallarta, yeah. we're waiting. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I think this is all going to go by in the blink of an eye in the grand scheme of your life. And the only thing that you can um, quantify is what you leave this experience with. And there's a lot of ways to pamper yourself and leave with something. Yeah. Instead of leave with things you're going to be ashamed of. Yeah. Especially if when you have, when you're, when you're like, you know, if you're in the, the fortunate position to kind of to have some time for re- reflection, you know what I've thought about? What? Am I going to have to at some point re- remind myself not to be afraid of people? Do you know what I mean? I, Am I, I going to forever be on a jog and see a person and go around them? Am yeah. I going to think six feet forever? Am I going to second guess every social interaction forever? I, I mean, if this happens, if this goes on for another year, yeah, it's going to be weird. I I mean, I'm already not big on crowds. Like, I prefer to be on the stage alone. Yeah. When it's a crowd. You know what I mean? We don't even prefer that. (laughs) The audience doesn't even want that. No. (laughs) Anyway, uh, protect yourselves. Yeah. Protect each other. Call your mom and call her safely from a distance. And rub it. Rub it out. out. Rub it out. Here's the goal. that bean. Here's the goal. Here's a, a quick goal. And it's very doable. I've done it myself. Give uh, uh, for those with a prostate, make yourself come without touching yourself. You can stick something up in there, but try to get to the point where you can actually achieve orgasm without touching yourself. Fellas, do you like good, juicy <laughs> prostate? <laughs> get yourself a plug. Let me tell you, fellas, is it gay? <laughs> is it gay? Is it gay, fellas? Because it's, I'm telling you, that happened to me. I did it. It was wild. Did you live? Uh, transcendent, literally. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. And there's no shame attached. There's no social responsibility there. Nothing. You don't even need the internet, mama. T. T. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>